Hello everyone, this is uh, Max Forti again, bringing you another review. From you see uh, at the title above, uh, it's another review, and it's Unforgivable Multi-Platinum by Sean Jean for Man 2007 edition. Presentation is another simplistic one, as you see from the, um, the little uh, cup that the bottle sits in, it's just solid plastic. It has Sean Jean in one side, and at the other side it says Actually, it doesn't have the Unforgivable on the other side. But the, the bottle itself does. You have uh, Unforgivable um, Multi-Platinum in one size. And in the other side, it says Sean John. Um, but it's rather simplistic. The spray is actually pretty good. Um, but there's nothing to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, the price point, bottle sizes, this comes in a 75, well, it came in a 75 mil. And it costs around 65, 70 bucks. It's an eau de toilette concentration. Um, you can't find this uh, at your regular general stores, or uh, very hard to find this. And because it's so hard to find, you're going to have to spend anywhere from 100 to 250 dollars. Um, sometimes, if if, it, if it's sealed, uh, you're looking at over 250 bucks if you can find it. Um, to be honest with you, it's a great fragrance, but I don't think it's worth that much. Uh, I think that, you know, if you can find it for around 100 bucks, you know, um, I think it's worth it. You know, if it's full and you're having enough juice there, you know, it's a good alternative for another fragrance that I'm going to be talking about very soon coming up. Um, the overall release and the perfumer behind this and those behind this is David Appel um, or Apel. Uh, who created other great juices such as Bond Number no. Nine's Bleecker Street and Wall Street, and also created Tom Ford's Black Orchid, which uh, was Tom Ford's first fragrance uh, when he started his own company. These are some of his prominent, most prominent work. He created other things too, uh, but these are like the most um, known and famous fragrance that he, he created. Application and best time to wear this fragrance. Uh, I wouldn't spray more than three. Uh, it's actually pretty strong for what it is. Uh, great for formal wear or even casual wear. I wouldn't wear this casual because it's discontinued, so I would keep this formal. Definitely all year round fragrance. Uh, it would be a signature uh, scent if you could find this uh, easily, but since you can't, I would keep this a formal and uh, evening um, events. Um, classification is aromatic fougere. Uh, the note breakdown, the top notes you get Sicilian lemon, Italian bergamot, green mandarin, uh, Moroccan tangerine and grapefruit, juniper leaves, birch leaves, Mediterranean air, cord, and Tuscan basil. The heart of this fragrance is, I think, amazing. You get a nice champagne accord, Florentine iris, clary sage, and lavender. And to dry down, you get cashmere wood, Australian sandalwood, amber, tonka bean, and rum. With this addition, uh, the perfumer had said that he added the, a quart of champagne to give this composition some depth, longevity, and fizziness uh, effect to the, uh, to the, to the scent. Uh, so, gets us to the next point here, which is summary of the smell and the details in this fragrance. Um, it develops a little bit. Uh, it's rather, it's not so uh, transitional. It's not extremely linear either. It develops some. It's a beautiful scent, very similar to Creed's Millicent Imperial. But actually, I believe it's better in my humble opinion. It lasts longer and projects much better on my skin. And it is so unfortunately that this has been discontinued. Um, it's a great piece to have in your collection. Blind by worthy. Uh, this is a nice, citrusy, fruity, fizzy, and bubbly, sophisticated, and elegant smell, which will garnish you a tremendous amount of compliments, and you will never offend anyone with this. Quite the contrary, people will love the way you smell. Uh, it's an outstanding fragrance, definitely one to have. In the words of Sean John himself, in the world of fragrances, perfumes, and colognes, the actual product we use our base called juice. Quality and the different grades of juices, Com says, this is a luxury in the bottle version of Unforgivable, said uh, Sean John himself. 
So the final rating for this uh, for this fragrance, I give this a three out of five stars on the presentation. Nothing unique or special. Very simple. Projection, I give this a five out of five. It's an extremely good projection. Nice scent trail, and people will love the way you smell. Longevity, I give this a five out of five. You look in eight to ten hours, at least on my skin. Uh, definitely above average uh, longevity. Versatility, I give this a four out of five. You can wear all year round. I would give this a 5 out of 5 if this w had not been discontinued. Uh, uniqueness, I give this a 4 out of 5. Will resemble other fragrances such as Millicium Imperial, the regular uh, Unforgivable, Luck and Love, and, and you know so many others. But it does its own thing, I think, because of the champagne accor that was added to this fragrance. It is a little bit unique, so I give this a 4 out of 5, or even a 4.5 out of 5 for that matter. So the overall final rate. It gets a solid four and a half stars. Um, if it hadn't been discontinued, I, this would have been a masterpiece 5.5. Five. So definitely worth having in your collection if you can find it for a reasonable price. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please rate, comment, like, and subscribe to the video. And I will have more videos for you. I bet you hear that thunder. Uh, it's uh, raining pretty heavily here uh, where I am. So. Uh, I'm going to cut this right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.